Hello fellow Vapors, it is time for episode 9 of the Devils vlog, including our lovely um, hashtag Ask the Devil. So we are on episode 9. 9! Um, yeah, so it's Sunday today, which means it is Father's Day here in the UK. I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or it's just the UK one and America has Father's Day a different day. Um, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers, the stepdads, the granddads the father figure people, just to be politically correct. Um, anyone you look up to as a father, um, or a father figure, happy Father's Day to you. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do today is go through what I've been vaping on this week. My vape mail, we're going to go through the Q&A sesh, and we're going to go through the week's Cummins review. So timestamps will be down below if you don't want to listen to me. Now I've literally woken up probably about 20 minutes ago. I've got this set up. I've got my coffee, I've got my vape, um, <clears throat> we're going to go through what I've been vaping on this week. So um, this week, as last week, I've been vaping on the um, the Cumulus Mini, uh, the Cumulus Mini, the Mini Cumulus and the Samoan Battlestar with, of course, which the bottle is over there, the um, Vapors Fog Insomnia. I'm, I've gone through my last lot of that, so now I'm on to... Camborne Crack by Cornish Liquids, which is a nice, intense kind of Heisenberg flavour. It is just Heisenberg cranked up fruit, which is nice. It's very cracky indeed. It is liquid crack. Um, and that has been that, really. I've been vaping on the stuff and testing out what I've been um, reviewing, obviously, but regularly I haven't been vaping anything else. And this weekend I've been on the drone bf with the peerless on top the peerless limited edition or special edition with the squonky donk pin down below um so yeah i haven't been vaping on much really i'll just vape on the continuous liquid all week um i don't really like to chop and change it well the thing is i've been gone for two weeks two weeks since the last vlog um at the, last week i was vaping on some um that strawberry banana waffle by drip club um so that was nice when I was away in Brighton. Um, but yeah, that was that. What have I been vaping on? Yeah, that has been what I've been vaping on. And we're going to take this for a vape as well. So yeah, uh, vape mail. Vape mail this week. Fucking vape mail this week has been quite good. Um, I've got loads of stuff to come. Um, but I've had a shit ton of cotton from Anger Rabbit. Anger Rabbit. By Yumi, I don't know where they're from, where they are, where they're gonna be, etc. But it's some nice cotton. It's some very nice cotton in there. Um, Vape Delights. They sent me through their range for review. Um, we had. I put the box somewhere. No, I don't know. We'll go on to this one then. We had the Callmaster A4 charger. Now, this is a bloody cracking charger. If you're looking to charge your batteries, I think it's got two 2 amps and two 1 amp outputs. Um, basically, I've done a test for review purposes. I've got the XTAR VC4 and the Callmaster A4, and I tested how many batteries I can charge on the Callmaster before the VC4 charges four batteries. You're going to have to watch my review to find that out, so yeah. Um, I also got the DIY kit mini from Callmaster as well. Another nice little bit of kit into your face holes. Um, yeah, looking forward to posting that. I may post it up earlier in the week. Um, then I have... I've had these through, but I haven't looked for them yet. Who are these from? UK Vape Supply. I've got a range of e-liquids from UK Vape Supply. Um, City Vape. So this is the Cafe Latte. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying them. Um, I've also had some other e-liquids, the D-Light, uh, not D-Lights. There's a little box somewhere. There, there's three e-liquids anyway, in a box. And they were pretty cracking flavours. I'm just a little bit pissed that I can't find the box. Um, Elux, Elux, Elux are the, uh, the flavours there. Um, what else? I think that's been it, really. Um, the, a lot of things have been inquiries this week um, in terms of reviews, and they'll be sending stuff out next week. 
Um, there's something from Cthulhu coming. Um, some more stuff for EC Click. I've got some Watofo gear and some Smoank gear coming through from them. Um, so yeah, it's been blooming all right this week. No complaints. Um, so that brings us on to. Uh, let me go through my notes here. Vape mail. We've done vape mail. We're going to go on to our lovely section, which we call hashtag Ask the Devil. This is a section where I ask people to send me inboxes of any random question, and I will answer them live, live as I can be on air um, and as honestly as I can. Quaffy. Um Yeah. So. We're going to go through that. We've got quite a few questions, so we're going to go to straight to question one, which is from Zan Ross. Um, if you haven't already, go give Zan a subscription. -ness. What is the difference between a CBW of 2016 compared to 2017 version of CBW? Now, the 2016 version of CBW involved a lot less finger, uh, or a lot less finger action. Um, CBW 2016 was more of an in and out. Um, and 2017 was more of an in and then you curl your finger up and then pull it back out so that is the 2017 version of CBW thank you Zan for that um, that question there Vaping Postman uh, thank you very much for your message mate let's make that a bit bigger so do you think Vaping Postman is the best reviewer on the planet that is my question lol 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 oh crap let's leave that up um, Mr Postman I actually really like your reviews. I know in the past, um, we haven't seen eye to eye, etc. Um, but it's been recently in the past, I don't know, six, eight months or whatever. Um, we have been, well, I have been watching your reviews and stuff like that. And I actually like your reviews. Um, you do, you get the bloody views, you get the subs. Um, yeah, I, I like your reviews, mate. I, well, the thing is... Um, it's very rarely I watch another reviewer's reviews, unless I'm looking to buy that product or I'm interested whether a product's shit or not. Um, it's very rarely I would go and watch another review. I, because I'm surrounded by vape gear all the time, I very rarely watch other people's reviews unless I'm really that fast. Um, but the reviews I have watched of yours, uh, which you know I've watched because I've commented, etc., um, I do like. You know, you've got a good layout. You got a good way of doing things, etc. And yeah, you're you're a bloody good reviewer, and people should look up to people like you um, and aspire to people like you for doing their bloody reviews. So that is my answer for that. Uh, thank you, uh, Vaping Postman. And if anyone hasn't already, um, go subscribe to the Vaping Postman. Question three from UK Vapester. Oh crap, that's going a bit wrong. UK Vapester. Uh, question for your vlog, what got you into vape reviews and why? I have already answered this in my previous one. Um, I'm basically an opinionated arsehole and um, more of an arsehole to some of you out there. Um, but yeah, I'm an opinionated arsehole and I like to give my opinions on things. Um, so I got into reviews basically. I started vaping and I was an opinionated arsehole about that. So yeah, that's what that happened. If you haven't already, go subscribe to UK Vapester. Q4 from Tony. Totally random question for your vlog. How do snails get their shells? Hmm. Um, I think snails get their shells. It must be something like fingernails, you know. All I can imagine. Imagine that's a snail and a fingernail just growing. Um, it must be something like that. Like a build up of calcium or whatever you want to call. Some sort of genie thing that goes round and, and grows over time. Kind of like a fingernail. Um, but in a housely, circly shape. Question five from Paul. I'm thinking of getting a Squonker device. Um, can you list your top three devices and top three RBAs to go on top? Rightio, um, Squonky Donk devices. I've, I think I've only had three devices. Uh, I've got the um, Lost Vape Drone BF. I've got the Kangatech Dripbox. Um, one. I'm sure I had another one. And the Councillor Vapor Wraith, 
Now, single 18650 squonkers do not do it for me. Um, I'll give you that. So, the Wraith is out of the question. The drip box once, uh, is it the drip box 166 or whatever they call it? Whatever it is, the, the first drip box that looks like this anyway. Um, that is good. It doesn't hit as hard as it should do. Um, but it is alright. I've heard that I can, um, what is it called? The Pico Squeeze. Uh, squeeze? I, the Pico Squeeze by E-Leaf, I-Leaf, whatever it is. Uh, apparently that is good. Um, but the Lost Drone BF is my favourite squonker of all time. Um, as for atomizers, but this does come at a price. As for atomizers, the... <sighs> The peerless, uh, the peerless, yes, the peerless is very good. Um, the serpent BF is good, but it may bug some people. Um, not the Druga. Yeah, I'd say probably the the serpent BF, or or the um, Vaporesso bloody Nalu. Vaporesso Nalu is a good squonky dunk RDA. Um, yeah, they're, they're really the only uh, bottom-fed RDAs I use. I do use the um, the Skywalker, um, but the branding is hideous on that, so I wouldn't really recommend that. But it, it's good. The deck's good. It's just the branding on it is absolute shite. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. Question six. We've got a big one here. Um, from Danny. Danny Rag, I think it, his name is. Hello mate, few random questions. Uh, what does your tattoo say on your arm? And do you have any more? That one there is Get Better. Um, basically it's a song by Dan Lassac and Scroobius Pip. Um, it's, it's a bit cliche, but I was going through um, a horrendously bad time mental health wise. And I decided to go out randomly and get a tattoo one day. And that is what I chose. Uh, the song is called Get Better. It's a song that's dragged me out of a lot of dark places. Um, it's cheered me up. And um, it, you could more or less say it's saved me life. But yeah, that, that's why I decided to get it done. I'm a kind of person is uh, that tattoos, they're, they're, they're what they are. You know, if someone else don't like them, fuck off. Um, if I don't like them, I'm stuck with them unless I want to get them removed. It's just a, a timestamp in life. Um, don't you know? Think too much about them unless they're like some blooming racist symbols or whatever or swear words. But other than that, you know, get whatever you want tattooed on your body. It's your body. You've only got one body. Use it. Um, have I got any more? Yes, I've got a star on my wrist. That was when I was 18. I've got mud vein on this arm. Um, I've got a 13 in a like a devilly heart which was uh, on my left leg which I got on Friday the 13th when I do tattoos for 13 pounds on my right leg I've got a an Optimus Prime a Megatron and the Autobot on Decepticon symbols so that is my bloody tattoo history there um yeah so that is my tattoos what pop figures are behind you well I've got Autobot the uh, Drift Stinger Optimus Prime and Bumblebee and Pinhead, which are all mine. And then we go to the Harry Potter side of things, which I bought the missus for her birthday and Christmases. We've got Luna Lovegood, Rubius Hagrid, um, Bellatrix, Malfoy, McGonagall, the Weasley Brothers, Dumbledore, Snape, Voldemort, Harry, Ron, and Hermie Harmy Hormony. Um, that is them people up there. Favourite TV programme and favourite film? Oh, TV programme. I rarely watch TV. I come in, I watch the news, I watch the bloody one show, and then I get on the computer or watch something else. Um, so it could be the one show if Angela Scanlon's on there. Um, we'll say that. The one show when Angela Scanlon's on there. Favourite film? <coughs> I love Hellraiser. I love my horrors. Um, I love Watchmen. The Watchmen is a film I can watch bloody over and over again. I've got so many films over there, it's untrue. People who've seen what my uh, film collection is like, it's stupid. Uh, the Transformer films are alright, but I wouldn't say they're the most amazing films of all time. Um, Donnie Darko's Blooming Good. Stuff like that, just a bit trippy films and horror films are normally my favourite ones. 
Um, have you ever thought about creating your own juice line? Yes, I have. Um, I never thought of actually going into it. If I was was to ever make my own e-liquid line, um, it would basically be the flavours that I like. So it would just be like, I love a blackcurrant menthol. So, uh, and a heavy blackcurrant and a heavy menthol. So it would just be that, you know, that would be one of my flavours. Um, like a rhubarb and custard or a, a combination of rhubarb custard and custard cream biscuits. That would be another one. It would just be my favourite flavours from all different companies made to my specs and uh, sold to people. But it's the whole point of getting all that set up, getting the labelling, getting the testing done, etc. Um, yeah, I have thought about it. Even my mate who runs a gelateria, uh, Fab's Gelato, he said... The, the like how cheap the concentrates are and how much because he obviously buys basically the same stuff to favor flavor his gelato and he says the stuff the flavors you can get and like sell on for the amount of profit and i'm like i'm not in this for the profit but like the flavors you can get it would be amazing for you to do this and people to buy it because i've obviously got a following people may buy it but you you never know um also i would like to mention you're doing a grand job Reviewing e-juices and products. Enjoying watching your vids and viewing the Instagram pics. Uh, peace out, Vape on Dean Danny. Now go and follow Danny over on Instagram. He's vape underscore visual, visual underscore photography. Thank you very much for those, Danny. There are some bloody good questions there. Question seven. Right, this is where the funny shit starts coming. The These are from Sam. Adam, which is GBV. Uh, Sam and Adam GBV Great British Vapes um, if you haven't already go subscribe to him so Sam how do you maintain your beard I wash it I comb it I wash it and I comb it if I'm going out I put some oil on it or some uh, cream or some shit like that uh, how many how long in inches is your beard or why did you start reviewing we've already gone through why I start reviewing uh, inches long two or three when did you decide you wanted to be a professional muff diver um i don't know i've always been good at it so i thought i might as well be a professional at it and um you know show what i'm good at you know i'm better at it than reviewing so yeah who's your inspiration one for vaping and one for real life Inspiration for vaping, bloody hell. Um, I've never actually looked at someone for an inspiration for vaping. There's people out there that are like, you know, it, you see reviewers with massive numbers. You see like Vic with 20,000. You, you see Todd with however many 50,000. You see um, Rip Trippers with his fucking three quarters of a million bought subs. Um, you know... You, I don't aspire to be like that. All I aspire in the vaping world is to be the best that I can be, and I'm by far the best I can be. I am still, I still have a can't be asked attitude. I still don't put one hundred and ten percent into things. You know, um, I do what I do, and it gets done. I could be so much. Well, I, I hope I could be a, a a lot better than what I actually am at the moment. You know, I could be a lot more planned out things set up nicely, I could have a better computer, but it's kind of, what people have got to understand is, this is a hobby, it is not a job, um, I do not get paid to review shit, you know, um, so the, the whole fact of me going out and buying, say, a £500 computer, for example, um, not doing any GoFundMe or anything, um, I would not go out and buy a £500 computer based on the fact that you know that 500 pound is not gonna um is not gonna pay me back as such you know um fair enough i'm gonna get my subs and my views and that that is gonna come whatever setup i do it on um unless i kind of want to re review in 1080p or 4k um with this setup i'm still on a i think it's a 100 pound laptop 75 pound laptop from three years ago um i've got my logotech c920 i've got my blue snowball um, I've got my mouse. Look, my Logitech mouse. You don't need a, a fucking six hundred million pound bloody setup um, gained from begging to to do reviews. Um, but we're kind of 
going off on a tangent there. Um, so, inspiration for vaping. People that are fucking honest. People that don't buy shit. Um, or people that don't buy subs or views, etc. They are my inspiration. Um, there are a lot of people that I do uh, envy. Um, well, not envy. That, like how they... they they come across. I'm I'm kind of a bit rigid, and I do come across lacking personality at times. Um, but it does take me a time, a, a while to come out of my shell. But these, I come out of my shell a bit. I'm a little bit less high on the devil vapor. Um, but yeah, inspiration for life. Um, my mum and my dad. Uh, fucking hell, yeah, my mum and my dad. Today is Father's Day. Um, my mum. My mum is my dad, my dad is my mum. No, um, my mum and dad, uh, 100%. You know, they have been through some shit, fucking shit times. Um, and shit times that I've had to witness. I've had to witness the breakup of my mum and dad. Them splitting up, them moving out, etc. Um, then I didn't speak to my dad for uh, probably about four or five years. I think it was about four or five years. Um, and that was a fucking hard time for me a fucking fucking hard time and it is it's father's day <clears throat> god knows how long ago um i think it was about five or six years ago now i decided to message my dad and said dad i'm coming to see you and we met down the pub we had a few pints we had a cry and a hug um but yeah since then my mum's gone through cancer my mum's gone through breaking her leg my mum's gone through losing her voice completely um my dad's gone through cancer um Oh fuck yeah! It it has been a very hard let let's say from 2010 onwards it's been fucking hard. Um, but my mum and dad they've been there through thick and thin, and obviously they're not together. But um, you know they they're an inspiration. They've been through a lot of shit with their own parents dying, um, them dealing with cancer. My dad now partially on the way to remission um they are my inspiration for life and i i can't really thank them enough for being there you know i'm getting a little bit choked up now um but yeah let's move on um do, do the curtains and carpets excuse me um and does the carpet the curtains and carpets match um yeah no no i all i'm gonna say is i've got more hair on my chin than i've got on my balls um, down to personal choice. Keep it fresh and smooth, lads. Keep it fresh and smooth. Question eight. Why won't Aspire send us any shit? Because we don't sit there emailing them, asking, can you send me this? I want a UK exclusive on that. Can you send me this? No. Um, yeah, Aspire don't send us shit. They gave you a t-shirt and a sticker. They gave me a sticker. Um... I don't know. Aspire, why don't you send us any shit? <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Question nine. When did you know it was your calling to live? Life? Life was blowing dank clouds. Yesterday, mate. Yesterday. Why has vape such hard work? Oh, there we go. Uh, life. Why are Asvape such hard work? Asvape seem to be leeches of the reviewing community. They message you and go, um, we will give you a questionnaire. If you answer the questions correctly, um, we will send you stuff to review. So I thought, right, fair enough. It's a questionnaire. But it's a questionnaire of like, what would your favorite RDA look like? What would your favourite um, 200 watt box mod look like? What would it be made out of? They are doing their market research, asking vapors. Oh, if you you answer questions correctly, there's no correct qu correct or incorrect way of asking it. They're asking you for your fucking opinion. Um, you know, it's not like going, oh, what colour is is this? Is it black or is it orange? You know, if you go black, oh yeah, I've won. Um, but this is completely opinion based. You know, it's basically saying, what would your next best mod look like? Uh, you're giving them ideas to make future products, and you're not getting paid, or well, not getting paid. You're not getting um, compensated. There we go, compensated for your work for them. You know, they're they're leeching off the fucking community. I've had them message me time after time after time after time. Yeah, we'll send you stuff to review, and then they go, ah oh, no. Um, who who else would you recommend? Fuck off. 
Fuck right off. Um, if you're gonna send me shit, send me shit and tell me you're sending me shit. Don't ask me bullshit fucking questions um, so you can get market research to make your next fucking mod. You know, sort your shit out, as vape. Fucking shit. Shit market research. Worse than bloody... Uh, who was it? Um, Apache Vape who decided to do that war dance challenge just as a publicity stunt to push their fucking crap cinnamon e-liquid. Um, life. Why is Rip Trippers a complete cock? Um, that is completely opinion based. I personally do not like Rip Trippers reviews. Um... <sighs> That is just down a personal preference. I don't like his attitude. He is what some beginner vapors or beginner, what's it called, reviewers aspire to be. Um, blowing clouds and all his beard and... <laughs> and I'll fuck off. Um, if you watch his first videos, yeah, he's blooming like brick and wooden. Um, but I prefer his attitude back then to, to the penis he is now. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't like who he is. So that is my explanation on that, Stephen. Uh, 11. Why is it only one day a year that you put on a wizard hat and pretend to be Gandalf, the wizard of dank vape? You shall not pass. Um, one day a year. Yeah, it, it's normally on my birthday I, I do that. I, go, I walk around in my pants and a vest uh, with my staff and you shall not pass. That's what happens. Thank you, Sam. Fucking hell, these are trouble, aren't they? And this is our last one. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Why does Steve look like this when he gets a dry hit? Thank you, Sam. He looks like Trump Shrek. I don't know. I'd be pretty pissed when I get a dry hit. Um, that's life for you. So that concludes... A fabulous version of Ask the Devil. Um, thank you to everyone sending those in. Um, we got a little bit emotional there. We, we're now at half hour. Shit. This is what's happening. Uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone who has, uh, has sent in questions this week. Now, we're going to look at this week's... Oh, bollocks. I pressed the wrong thing. This week's reviews. Once this decides to stop loading. Piss off now. Right, this week's reviews. Um, starting from Monday. I don't know. Uh, what, what have we got here? Expert videos. I'm just going to look through what videos um, I've got ready to upload. We've got the Archery Uno. We've got Double Drip. Uh, the Double Drip Line, five from them. We've got the Geek Vape Tsunami. We've got the UD Skywalker. Um, oh no, the UD Skywalker has already been done. Uh, the Geek Vape Tsunami Mech. Um, Xsplit Videos. We have got the Geek Vape Tsunami has already been done. We've got some e-liquids. We've got the Call Master. Um, DIY tab mini. We've got quite a few coming out this week. Last week um, and the week before I lacked a little because I went away for a long weekend. Um, but yeah, we, we've got some e-liquids and hardware coming out this week. We should have a jam-packed week, but it all depends on whether I've got the time to post things out and publicise it, etc. this week, because it's going to be another busy week for me, etc. So we're going to conclude that there at half an hour. Uh, thank you very much to everyone that has watched this. Please don't forget to get your questions sent in. Um, if you're going to send them in by Facebook or Twitter, do hashtag Ask the Devil at the top and then uh, continue with your questions below. We've had a nice response this week. Um, it was a little bit slow to pick up with. Some people who I thought would message in wouldn't and some people who I didn't think would message in have. So thank you to everyone that has uh, done it. We, we've had a nice, happy, yet emotional um Q and A session today. Um, so thank you very much for that. I've been on answering things as honestly as I can, as per usual. So right, I'm going to go get ready for my dad. Um, we're going to go have hog roast with my sister and the the in laws and all that. Um, and yeah, 
have a good one, everyone. Um, hopefully, I will see you either in a week or two weeks. I'm still undecided whether to do this every week or two weeks, but we will find something out. We'll, or we'll just do it when we want to do it. Um, or I will do it when I want to do it, because this is my fucking channel. But yeah, everyone, have a fantastic week. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I've been The Devil Vapor, and you've been watching The Devil's Vlog.